Yeah. Hi, hey. I'm Camilla Vance, <laughs> Old Goat Farm. I have two competitive horses, a new forest pony, which is going, just competed and was 13th in the country at training riding, and a Arabo Frisian stallion, the first of his breed in the U.S., about to go pre-St. George in Florida this winter. Cool. I have two Equispirit trailers because I love them and because I don't have children, these are my babies, I want them safe. So, this one was custom divine for me, so it would be utterly practical, no matter what I did, where I went, as a one-man band, I can handle it. This trailer is designed so that it is easily visible for the aging eyes. Lights in front of all the essentials, water here, more lights underneath, hydraulic lift. I'm done with and the winding. And don't forget the water tank, and we've also got the... Two batteries. Yes. Next, multiple outlets to get into any room. Tacrum, more importantly, the step. Light, so in the dark, I can see something. And that step slides right underneath? Yes, yes. no problem Out of the all. way. I like all around here because I believe that you can never have enough light. I'm going to back up and show this entire trailer. Camilla's my good friend as well, by the way. Step up, wide door. This bay can either be total storage, it can carry one or two horses, and if you step in, you will see that we have direct access to the back, which is also two standing stalls. If you've noticed, because I live in North Carolina, which can be very hot in the summer, I have added additional fans, so there are a total of eight fans. I have two huge vents that I've also designed in this air conditioning and heat so that if I'm competing, I'm ensuring that my horse is comfortable as possible. Plus we added the open air sides, which uh, take plexiglass uh, if we have some bad weather, but it really provides the additional ventilation and air that you need to really keep your horses comfortable. This is what we've described as the cool one. It was really designed to be an efficient, and safe trailer for being in hotter weather because I believe climate change is here and I am concerned that if we're not paying attention these trailers are not going to be cool enough. So and that's what that's a whole reason for the open air Equa Spirits. Exactly, which I adore. So it is easy to get in and out of. I can choose which way I want to go I have electrical outlets in this trailer so I can do a TheraPlate or any kind of therapeutic treatment, walking them in one side and out the other. I can also, in an emergency or fire or flood, carry all three of the horses I own in this and have enough space for two weeks worth of supplies. And that was the overarching design for this. Let me take you a little closer. In addition to having extra wide eight foot I also built in on the other side emergency supplies. So, if you come around the corner, if there's ever an emergency and you can't get in, you can get into one of these. Let me go to the other side. This apparently is locked. But this allows you to have extra rigging, extra ropes, extra halters, whatever you want, accessible from the outside. And in an emergency, that may be the difference between being able to get your horse safely or not. Let's grab the other side and take a look. This is a low ramp, low and light enough for somebody my age to be able to lift easily. I'll show you how it hitches up, which is nothing less than brilliant from my point of view, but it rides well and it isn't low when you travel. Here is the other safety pocket and uh, we have used it, which I love. Mm. I'm a trauma nurse by training. My philosophy is avoid a disaster when at all possible. Be proactive. I have double doors on the side, so at every point in my trailer, I can exit for safety, which I very much appreciate. And these big old butterfly latches are long enough to uh, really secure that door so they can't kick them open. And we put those on every horse door for that reason. And they're long enough so a horse can't kick out the bottom of it and maybe try to pull their hoof back in. This 
is a six foot wide uh, ramp, which is wide enough to put equipment. And for those of you who have um, driving, your carriages can also come in here. And we put in inside the floor the ability to tie down equipment, but the horse can step over it so there's no danger, which makes this completely multi usable. I have my own video camera so I can see it from the rig itself. But if you see, this is designed so I can really configure it the way I need to for that moment. And I'm not locked into only one modality. And all these tie rings are lay flat when they're not in use, so we're not worrying about a horse catching an eye on those. Right. I like this because I like everything to have a place, but because sometimes stuff happens, I like the fact that you can change where you put your hooks, take them off, and put a horse in it. Yeah. Not suddenly say I've got a big space, but I don't have the ability to put a horse in for safety reasons. Now locked on this side. Here's my four foot ramp, because I am now too damn old to be dropping <laughs> up and down these steps all the time. I this doubt that. I doubt that. But. For big trunks to come up and down. And what I've learned from competing, so I go to big shows up and down the coast. I also travel for up to two weeks at a time to go to train sessions. So what I need is the ability to pack a lot of stuff, easily get it in, and frankly, at the end of the trip, easily get it out. So I designed this to be open so that I could tie things in as I need to. I have a lock so nobody can, from the other side, push that door open. But here, what I've learned is I want the ability to perhaps put something I didn't expect in here, and I can now do that by having these two tying rigs and the rubber against the wall. Behind you, we have two safety features, one of which is a custom webbing, and the second is this lip, so that if there was a sudden stop, everything I own doesn't come down onto the floor. Mm -hmm. I realized for myself that I didn't need to have more space for clothing. I needed a space for clothing. And this allows me to change by season. I do not find it's in my way. And then I put most of my typical stuff inside this box. But again, I'm getting too old to leap up and down, and I like having that step. This allows me, again, the ability to come through one way or the other. And I have air conditioning as well as heat as well, so if I had to, I could stay here, or if it was just a hot day, we have some place to hide. Mm -hmm. I could also put my generator in here. And at most shows nowadays, I'm sad to say, if you can't independently lock all the pieces of your trailer, somebody will steal it. <laughs> I have the ability to lock every single door in this trailer, so nobody can come in. Lastly, I have to say I have pulled this up hill and dale, down to the lowlands, and done it generally by myself or with one other woman. Never had a problem. It drives like a dream. I have driven it in everything up to a hurricane, and it is so comfortable and easy. This is a 350. This is 14,000 pounds, and I wouldn't change it, which is why this is my actually third Equispirit. So, see you on the road or at the show. Good luck.